Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this baby bunting here or a baby cocoon, whatever you might call it. So it has the hood and then it has three buttons to attach it. This is sewed like from here down and the other side is sewed all the way up. I do mention in the video that you can leave it unsewed and attach buttons on that side and all the way down here if you choose. But I put three buttons on here, and this is trying to do it one-handed so, with the camera in my hand, so it's a little harder, but it opens up like this, and then you can put baby in it, like that. Um, these buttons, you're going to, if you follow on me, these buttons are size one and one-eighth inch wooden buttons. I purchased them at Walmart. And then you're going to need a regular sewing needle and thread to sew those on, or you can use yarn and a yarn needle. But let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, I'm going to give you a measurement on this real quick. So from the point of the hood down is about 23 inches. And from the fold down is about 15 inches. So it will fit a newborn baby. My baby that was inside my uh, fake baby is a 19 and a half inch baby. So that's about the average size newborn. And it's about 13 inches wide. Okay. Now for this project, I used James C. Brett Rustic Aaron Tweed. It is a 20 wool, 77 acrylic, and 3% viscose. You do not have to use this brand. It is a medium weight number four. I don't know. Um, any medium weight number four will work, but there were 760 yards in here, and this is all I have left, so I'm going to say you're probably going to need about 600 yards of a medium weight number four. That's going to be 600 to 625 yards of a medium weight number four. Remember, you don't have to use this brand, but the color I chose is... DAT1 in case you're interested. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, this stitch is called the Primrose Stitch. It's a very easy stitch and it's done in a multiple of three plus two, which means your chain needs to be a multiple of three and then you add two more to your base chain. I'm going to show you on a smaller scale, but if you want to follow along with me and make the same size that I did, newborn size, you're going to need to start with a chain of 50. So once you get your chain of 50 made, we're going to go ahead and we are going to do a single crochet in the third chain from the hook. Now remember, we do not count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, three, and the third one, single crochet. And then we chain two, and then we go back into the same stitch and single crochet again. And now we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and in the next one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to put one single crochet, a chain of two, and then another single crochet in the same stitch. And now we're gonna repeat that pattern until we get to the end of the row. Skip two, skip, skip, and in the next one, we put a single crochet, a chain of two, and a single crochet. All into the same stitch. Skip two, skip, skip, and in the next, we single crochet, chain two and a single crochet into the same stitch. So you want to repeat that pattern until you get to the last two stitches of your row. 
All right, I've come to the end of row one and I have two stitches left. I'm going to skip one stitch and then I'm going to end by putting a half double crochet into the last stitch. That'll end row one and you'll have a total of 16 of these little chain two spaces. So we're going to start row two. Row two and three are the repeat rows for the whole pattern. So row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. We are going to put a double crochet into the very first stitch right there. And now we're going to start our repeat by putting three double crochets into the next chain two space. Just like that. And now we're going to put three double crochets again into the next chain two space. And we're going to repeat that pattern until we get to the end of row two. Three double crochets in each of the chain two spaces. We are going to call these three double crochets a shell. Just like that. So we're working a shell, which is three double crochets in each one of these chain two spaces until we get to the end of the row. Just like that. So go ahead and repeat that pattern. Okay, when you make it to the end of row two, you just did your last shell into that last chain two space. We're going to end by double crocheting into the top of this last chain space. Just like that. That'll end row two and you'll have 16 of those shells. Now we're gonna start row three by chaining two. This chain two counts as a half, half double crochet. Now, row two is similar to row one. We're going to put a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the middle stitch of this first shell. So we count, there's three double crochets. We wanna find the middle one and work into it. We're gonna put a single, chain two, and a single crochet, just like that. Now we're gonna jump to the next shell and we're gonna do the same. This shell right here, the middle stitch of this shell, we're gonna work one single crochet, a chain of two, and one single crochet. Again, the middle stitch of this next shell, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, middle stitch of the next shell, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And you wanna repeat this pattern until you get to the end of row three. All right, when you make it to the end of row three and you did your single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the middle of your last shell, we're gonna go ahead and end the row by double crocheting into the last stitch. Just like that. And again, you'll have 16 of these chain two spaces. So now we're just gonna keep repeating rows two and three, the shell row and then the chain space row, back and forth. And we're gonna repeat that until we have a total of 72 rows. So right now we are on row three. And if we wanted to start row four, we would chain one and turn. And we would, which would, this would be the shell row, so we would double crochet, back into the same stitch, and then we work three double crochets into the next chain two space, or a shell, and then we'd work a shell into the next chain two space, 
and this is what I do for row four. So I'm gonna keep repeating rows two and three until I reach a total of 72 rows. Okay, I have finished my 72 rows and my piece measures about 39 and a half inches long. So that's about how long it needs to be. So what we need to do now is we need to sew the hood up and we need to sew uh, the side. So um, after you get done with your last row, you want to make sure your last row is a double crochet row. So I done 72 rows, which was the last one, which is a double crochet row. Go ahead and tie your yarn off and clip it. Now I'm going to turn my piece around like this. Okay. And now we're going to sew up the hood. So we're going to sew the hood. I have the right side of my work is facing me. The right side of the double crochets are facing me right now. If I flipped it over, you would see the back side of the double crochets. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the right side facing me. And this is the bottom where we started. This is what we're going to sew up. This is going to be the hood. So the right side of my work's facing me. Go ahead and we're going to put it together like this. And we are going to slip stitch this together. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my yarn. And I'm going to start in the first stitch here on this side. In the first stitch on this side. And I am going to pull my yarn through. And I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to work across and I'm going to grab the next stitch on this piece. And then the next sti stitch on the back piece and slip stitch like that. And that's what I'm going to do all the way across. So the next stitch here and the next stitch on the back piece and slip stitch. Again, the next stitch on this piece, the next stitch on the back piece and slip stitch. So I'm going to continue slip stitching my piece together until it's all sewn up. If you prefer to use a yarn needle and a piece of yarn and sew it together that way, that is fine too. So just continue slip stitching or sewing, whichever method you choose, the hood up just like this. all the way until you get here to the other side. Okay, once you've slip stitched all the way to the end, go ahead and clip your yarn and tie off. Now what we're gonna do is flip the hood inside out like that, just like that. Now we have the right side. We flip it over now. Now this is the wrong side of our work, but our hood is sewed together on the right side because here's the right side so now we'll flip this side up like that and that's how that looks so far okay so now before we sew the sides together I'm gonna go around the whole piece with a row of single crochet so I'm gonna flip my work like this so this is the right side of my work here's the hood this is the right side of the hood. You can see the stitches are on the right side. Now you can start anywhere that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and start in the corner down here at the bottom. In the very last stitch. Now in the corners, we are going to put four single crochets to make it round better around the corner. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into that same stitch and since it's a corner I'm going to work four single crochets. Now I'm going to go across the bottom here putting one single crochet into the top of every stitch. What we're doing now is cleaning up all the edges of our sleep sack just to make it look neater in the end. Just 
like that. So you want to work across the bottom here and I will meet you right here at this corner. Okay, I've made it over here to the corner and I'm going to go ahead and put four single crochets into the corner. Now I'm going to work along the long side here. And I'm going to do my best to try to evenly space out my single crochets. So it's kind of hard to tell where your single crochets need to go along these long sides. So just do your best to evenly space them out all the way up this side. It doesn't have to be perfect. The amount of stitches you have here at the end doesn't matter. As long as you do your best to try to get it spaced as evenly as possible. So I'm going to continue working up the side, evenly spacing out one single crochet at a time. Just like that. Okay, I have made it back for, to my starting point. What I did is I, did, I started here and I put my four single crochets. And then I put one single crochet in every stitch across the bottom. And then we put four single crochets in here. And then I worked my way and I said I was going to evenly space out my single crochets all the way up this side. And that is what I did. And then I just continued evenly spacing my single crochets around the front of the hood. And then I continued evenly spacing out my single crochets down the opposite side. So it was just like one big square and I ended right here where I started. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and end by slip stitching into my very first single crochet of that group of four. And then I'm going to tie off. Now it does not matter how many stitches you have here. Okay? It's, it doesn't matter at all. Now we're going to flip our work over. And now you can see the hood has been cleaned up. It has a nice row of single crochet because we just went around the whole thing with single crochet to get it all cleaned up. Now what we do is we're going to fold this up and sew it together. Now there are a couple options you can do. Okay, You can um, put buttons on both sides and do not sew it up. So that way It'll just open up like this. You can place baby in it and then you can shut it and button it. That's an option. What I'm going to do is sew one side right here and this side I'm going to put three buttons and then I'll sew part of it up. So mine will be if you unbutton it this will flap open and then you stick baby in there. But remember, you can leave it completely unsewn and put buttons on both sides. Or you can do it like me. So if you want to do it like me, we're going to go ahead and sew up the this side over here. Okay, so you want to fold it. I got the wrong side of my work facing up here, so I folded it backwards, if you know what I mean. So this is the right side here, but when I fold it like this, this part is the wrong side. So that's how we're going to fold it. Now you want to count 14 rows of shells. So that's these right here. One of the shell stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I'm going to sew it and leave 14 rows of shells open like that. So that's 14 rows of shells, not 14 rows total, just the shell stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have 14 rows of shells exposed. Now what I'm going to do is slip stitch my piece together. So I'm going to start down here on this side and work my way up. This is the side that I'm going to sew all the way up to the top. 
Well, actually, I'm going to start up here and work my way down, slip stitching. So I'm going to start in the, we put four stitches in this corner. I'm going to start in the, one of the middle ones. So probably the third one from here. One, two, three. I'm going to go in to the, f the stitch. So right here is my 14th row of shells on the other side. So I'm just going to go into the single crochets that we went around. It, just kind of close to that 14th row. I'm going to go into it. And I am going to draw up a loop. Chain one. And now I'm going to go across and I'm going to slip stitch it together. Go through one side once the next stitch on this side and the next stitch on the other side and I'm going to slip stitch it and this is what I'm going to do all the way down until my piece is sewn up slip go through this stitch and then the stitch on the opposite side and slip stitch if you prefer to use a yarn needle in yarn to sew it up that's fine too I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch my piece up and I'm going to do this until I get down to the bottom. So just like this. Slip stitching the sides up. This is the only side that will be slip stitched all the way. The other side will only be partially slip stitched. So I'm just going to continue and slip stitch this all the way up until this whole side is sewn shut. All right, I slip stitch from this side all the way down to the bottom. So I'm now I'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn off and tie that off. And you can hide, weave that tail in up the side here. Now I'm going to flip it around to the other side and I'm just going to partially sew this one up. Remember though, if you do not want to do it like me, if you prefer to, to button it all up, that's fine. I am going to sew up one, two, three, four, five, six rows. Six rows of shells, that is. So here's one row of shells. No, it's hard to see with that white. One row of shells, two rows of shells, three rows of shells, four rows of shells, five rows of shells, and six. So I'm going to slip stitch six rows of them up i still have my work facing the wrong side so i'm going to go ahead and just start at the bottom now and i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to slip stitch it together but i'm only going up six rows and not the entire way so i'm going to chain one and now i'm going to work across slip stitching it in the same manner that i did the other side but only doing six rows of shell stitches. So just like this, the same way we did the other side until I have six rows of shells sewn up. See, I already have three rows done. One, two, three, and I need to do four, five, six, up to here. Okay, I have sewn up my six rows of shells. So if you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I quit right at the top of that sixth row of shells. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clip my yarn off. And then I'll want to hide that tail, which I'll do that in a minute. But now we're going to flip our work right side out. There we go. Kind of adjust your seam a little bit on that side. And then the seam on this side. Kind of put your finger down in there. Stick your finger in there and kind of go up the side like that. That's a nice clean seam. That looks good. It does. So now the last thing that we have to do is add our buttons. So I'm going to be using the these openings here as buttonholes. So I will sew 
and then the button will go through like this. So I'll sew my button on the inside to match up to where I want the button to come through on the opposite side. So right about there. And then I'll skip two rows. And then the next one will go right about here. And then I'll skip two rows. And the next one will go right here. It should be right here next to our where we quit ended sewing. So like that. So you want to go ahead and sew your buttons on with a needle and thread. Let's see here. Yeah. Make sure you get your rows lined up right. Your buttons sewn up right. Right here on this row. So it'll come through this hole. Skip two shells. Sew up your next one on the edge here. So it'll come up through that hole. Skip two rows. And then sew up your next one on the edge so it'll come up through here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, it is all done. I got all my tails hidden. I got my buttons sewed on. So they just come undone like this very easily. Like this. And I got my baby that I can slip right on in here. She is newborn size. Well, I think she's about... <clears throat> 19 inches long so you know you just slip be easier to slip a new baby in here but you just put your baby in here plenty of room for her hood oh yeah plenty of room for a baby that size and then you button her up and that's it that's all there is to it i think it's super cute i thought about putting a pom-pom on it but i don't know but anyways, I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. You want to be following me in all those places. Um, if you make this or anything else for my tutorials, I'd love to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. Tag me on Instagram. Um, I'd love to see it. Also, like I said, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you look over there on the right-hand side of the screen right now, I'm going to put a playlist of all my other videos. If you want to, go ahead and check them out. I got hundreds of tutorials and lots of yarn talk. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.